It's going to be a little easier to open a daycare for both children and adults in Dallas after city council members approved a change to the city's code. The debate began with a controversial proposal for daycares in neighborhoods, but it ended with the easing of the permit process for office buildings. Fox Wars' Lori Brown live to explain. Lori. Clarice advocates for adult and child daycare say that the Dallas City Council managed to strike a balance that will both protect neighborhoods while also creating more opportunities for daycares to be built. It's the beauty of when government, business, and community can come together and share their voices and get the best outcome. Nicole Gann is the CEO of the nonprofit Juliet Fowler Communities in East Dallas. It allows us to move into areas of business and service where we know the community needs those services. Those services are daycares for up to 12 children or adults now cleared to be built in certain areas without the need for a permit. Places that are zoned for multifamily use as well as office districts and soft industrial areas. The original proposal to include neighborhoods was rejected. We need specifics in place to make the zoning work. My community does not want investors coming into our neighborhoods, buying houses and running them as daycare businesses similar to STRs. The new proposal by Councilman Paul Ridley aims to protect neighborhoods while also increasing the availability of daycares, potentially driving down costs. With two children in daycare, it costs more than my mortgage. Dallas Cothram spoke on behalf of a commercial property owner near Texas Health Presbyterian and a DART station. The owner began building a daycare facility only to learn that he needed to get a special use permit first. 25% of Dallas's office space is unoccupied. Please move this forward uh, and, and put some of these buildings back into use for something people really want. Gann says the council's approval will allow Juliet Fowler Communities to open a new adult daycare for seniors in Old East Dallas, helping to fulfill a growing need. This will be a day program where individuals who are caring for someone like this in their home can come and get relief for the caregiver and more importantly get specialized programming for that individual who is living with that cognitive impairment such as Alzheimer's or dementia. The nonprofit is also planning to open an affordable daycare for those who are income qualified. Being able to impact them at the beginning of their lives can prevent so much of the challenges that we see later in the lives of those who will live with us that are at risk that maybe suffer homelessness or they just don't have the same advantages that other children have. Juliet Fowler Communities plans to open the daycare center for adults this year and the child daycare center next year. Clarice. Lori Brown live. Thank you.